When you bought your headset, did you ever look on, on like Facebook for it? I did. What did you find? A lot of really cheap A20s. You exactly. see the same thing, the same posts over and over and over. And sometimes it's the same pictures in the same groups you know, Which by the same person the way, or different people. People just keep recycling these pictures and I feel bad for the people that buy into it, right? I want to make this video because it happens almost every day in all these groups. There's an ad for a nice headset. The price is pretty good. The ad goes away. And then usually a couple days later, the person comes back and says, I got scammed. I wouldn't even have made this video if it wasn't happening all the time. If you know someone who is thinking about getting a headset off of Marketplace, I hope you send them this video. So how can you tell? How can you protect yourself from getting ripped off. And I get it, aviation is expensive. And maybe saving a couple hundred bucks because you're buying a lightly used, really nice headset, it sounds really appealing. But the only way to not get ripped off on the internet is don't buy it on the internet. And yes, you can buy it on the internet from a reputable source, but I'm talking about the marketplaces on some of the social platforms. It's just not worth saving a little bit of money for the high likelihood that you're going to get scammed. So what are some red flags to watch out for? First, a low price is generally the number one indicator that it might be a scam. Do you think you're going to get a $1,200 headset for $600? The only thing you're going to get there is $600 less out of your wallet. What if the ad or seller might not be offering a big, big discount, but you're just not sure? How can you find out? Well, here's some things to look for. Number one, check their profile. Do they have any interest in aviation? We're pilots. We love to share our pictures and videos and stories about flying. If they have nothing out there, that is a warning sign. Another thing to check, is this the person's first post in a group? If they just became a member of the group and their first post is selling their discounted, nice headset, well, that's a scam. And if you're in one aviation group, you're probably in a dozen or so more. So check for that same post with the same wording in other groups. Another thing to watch out for is their grammar, their spelling. I'm not the grammar or spelling police, but if the ad is incoherent and a big giant run-on sentence, that might be a warning sign to consider. And this might not be obvious, but if the person claims to be a pilot, that information is public. You could search the FAA registry to see if they are indeed a pilot. Now, you may not have all the information, so that might this might not be the best indicator, but it is something you could possibly check to see if they're legit. If you do choose to engage with someone selling a headset on the internet, there are some things that you probably should do to help protect yourself. First, get updated pictures. There are so many stock photos of nice headsets in ads. It's so easy to pull those photos off the internet and put them together in an ad, and that's what happens a lot of the time. So you should ask for updated photos of the actual headset, and not just the picture of the headset on their carpet, get them to take a picture of the headset next to something current. That way, at least you know they have the headset in their hand. One of the things that these scammers love to do, they love to get you off of the platform that you're on. So if you're on Facebook Marketplace, for example, one of their goals is to get you off of Facebook Marketplace. First of all, don't give them your phone number. But if you did, they may start to send you weird text messages or links to a Google Voice account, anything to pull you off of whatever platform they started on, to a platform that they could control and manipulate. Your personal information could then be used in some bigger scam. They may just be collecting data about you. These headset scammers, they keep up to date with what everyone's using for payment. They may say, hey, let's do Venmo or Zelle or Cash App. They may also claim that they have some upgraded business services with these uh, different payment processors. They don't. The only way you should pay for an item like this is through a trusted source, like PayPal, but not PayPal friends and family because then you have no protection. You have to use a payment method that gives you some sort of recourse or protection if something doesn't go right. If you start paying with one of the payment apps, as soon as the money's gone, it's gone. Other things to watch out for, they may request or want some sort of deposit, but don't do that either. Another way that these jerks t try to take money from you is by claiming they sent something and they don't ever send it. And then they start demanding money from you. So if something's going to be sent, 
It has to be tracked and provable, and you must insist on that. And if you're buying something that's $1,000 or more, insist on getting insurance. It may cost a little more for the shipping, but it'd be worth it. One of the scams that these folks do is they'll take a broken headset and put it into a box and say, well, it's damaged. It's not my fault. I'm going to keep your money. And if you do insist on continuing to try to purchase a headset over the internet, Facebook does have policies in place for things like this. So make sure you read those ahead of time. The best way to get the headset that you want is to buy it from a reputable source. Stay safe, everyone.